Good morning. This is a surprise live that I'm doing today. Um, it is five tips to get your Monday morning going, a little bit of prep work so that you can have a more productive week. Um, the reason that I'm sharing these with you this morning is because I got up and I thought, what the heck am I doing this week? <laughs> and then I remembered the, my plan, which I usually do on Sunday nights, but the weather was so amazing this weekend that I didn't do my Sunday night planning. So I'm moving it to uh, my Monday morning prep. And I thought, what the heck, if I need this little boost, maybe others do as well. So my five tips for Monday morning planning. And if you're joining live today on the live stream, please say hello and let me know where you're joining from. And um, at any point as well, share in the comment section your tips for prep for Monday for a good week for organization. All right, that would be great. I'd love to hear them. So five tips for Monday morning. First, positive attitude and mindset. If you wake up feeling a little grumpy, do whatever it takes to just let it go and, um, you know, have a positive attitude that you are going to accomplish great things this week. Um, number two, I am a big one on this. You need to dedicate time, like an hour, I usually do this on Sunday nights, to plan out your week. I always take a calendar, and I'm not kidding, we have electronic calendars in um, for our family, everyone has one, but I have this big giant calendar that is at home so I can see what's going on all the time and everyone and every activity has a different color associated with it. <clears throat> I have a very busy householders. Three kids who are highly active, and um, I do a lot of um, teaching as well as networking, so I've got it all down in different colors. So what I like to do is I like to block out the musts, you know, the hockey practice, the school, the baseball, the meetings, the doctor's appointments, get all that on the calendar. And um, if you have a full-time job, obviously you're going to put that on the calendar as well. So block everything out. And then what you're going to do is kind of a brain dump. What are the things that you, other things that you need to do, other things that you want to do. So write that all down, um, creating a list. Uh, not that we're going to accomplish all that this week, but you're going to write it all down. I feel it's a great thing to do just to get it out and on paper. Um, I find that once it's on paper, it, it can't be lost. It's there. So my mind has, there's a little bit of ease in my mind. The next thing you'll do is you'll take that list and you'll determine what must be done. What are the priorities? Um, what are the must do's? And then you can rank those one, two, three, so on and so forth. And then... Not only are you going to list them out and prioritize them, but you are going to schedule them. This is where many people fall apart. They write it all down. They say, this is the number one priority, but then they don't ever block out time in their calendar to complete that task. So that is a must, okay? So just a quick recap. Uh, prep for your Monday morning. Start with a positive attitude, a great mindset. Dedicate time at least one hour. I usually do it on Sunday nights, but dedicate that time on Monday to plan out your week, figure out what your must do things are for the family, for your business, for your work that cannot be moved. Uh, for example, hockey practice, doctor's appointments, if I'm teaching a class, so on and so forth. Number three then is to prior, um, after you've made your entire list on, on paper, write it all down, then you're going to prioritize the list, um, you're going to rank it, and then you're going to schedule it. That is a must. You must schedule in giving yourself enough time to complete that task. And step number four is um, anticipate obstacles. There may be some. Sometimes when I'm in a hurry to get something printed out, all of a sudden the printer doesn't work. There's no ink. I've run out of paper. So anticipate any obstacles and try to mitigate those bumps in the road before they might happen. Okay, so that's number four. Anticipate what kind of could go wrong and then how you can mitigate or fix those resolve those before they happen. And number five, if you have an extremely busy week ahead of you and you know you are you might not be able to get it all done, but you have to because you have deadlines, maybe it's a good idea to ask for help, okay? Ask for help up front. So if I have a student that's working with me, then I might say, you know, at the end of the week, I might need some help. Would you have a couple hours on Thursday or Friday to help me out if the need should arise? Or if I have three kids in sports at three different baseball diamonds, then I can, you know, ask a friend or ask my father 
you know, can you help me out driving a child here or there if I need it? So don't be afraid to ask for help. I think that many times, especially as home-based business owners, as business owners or entrepreneurs, we feel like we have to have all the answers. We feel like we have to be able to do it all ourselves. And that is not the case. It is okay to ask for help. It is not a sign of weakness. So if you need help, ask for it. And my uh, suggestion is if you anticipate that you might need help in a few days, ask for that help now. Up front, prepare the individual so you might not, um, you're not throwing them off, okay? So those are my five tips. Positive attitude, dedicate time to plan out your work week, write down everything you need to get done, prioritize, and then biggest thing here, schedule it, block it out, put it in your calendar. Um, anticipate those obstacles that may come up and ask for help. And you can do that in advance. It's not a sign of weakness. It is a great thing to do. It shows huge maturity. And um, when you ask for help, others feel they can ask for help from you and you can create the sense of community and assisting one another. So I hope you enjoyed these five tips. If you have any tips for yourself, please pop those in the comment section. My name is Christine Hall. I'm the online business manager and t uh, lead trainer with Christine Hall and Associates. Have a great day, everyone. And I look forward to seeing your suggestions in the comment section as well. Take care.